Well, alrighty then. We have arrived at Mott Park. Well, alrighty then. We have arrived at Mott Park. Started this little video segment right here, standing in the door to the motorhome because I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to hear me when we get outside. And here's why. It's just so windy. I had to put up a windscreen so that I could cook and <laughs> I just had a failure on that just so windy anyway it keeps blowing the gas grill out okay the old tarp has seen better days about now I'm wishing I had that big uh, Chefco tarp that I reviewed. So anyway, let's, let's talk about site number 12 here at Mott Park. As you can see, we have a metal shade structure, charcoal grill, and a fire pit. There's a bit of a step from the pad down to the table. It's an asphalt pad bordered by timbers and it slopes real sharp to the back almost to the point where you can see that wheel is off the ground it's water and 30 amp and the 30 amp keeps going I might not be able to stay here because it keeps going off. Yeah, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to change sights. All right, so I just got finished doing a scooter run, and while I was doing that, I stopped up at up at the front gate uh, and brought the brought up the fact that the power 30 amp receptacle here, the 30 amp is is bad. It's I think it's in the breaker, and she said, "Well, there was somebody in there last night." <laughs> okay, well maybe they messed it up. I I don't know. Anyway, she gave me another site. I'm going to move over to 30. Fortunately, I didn't get all my stuff out. Pack it up, move across the street. Well, alrighty then. I have packed up and moved across the street. Actually, it wasn't across the street. I moved over to site number 30. Still got lots of wind blowing. 
but this is a pull through site so i'm actually able to get a little bit of an angle to block the wind which is a good thing because it's white capping on the lake right now the downside is power and water are on this side with our concrete table and metal structure fire ring and charcoal cooker over here with the big coaches slopes up to the to the front but it, it's a pull through so it's pretty pretty flat side to side I, I think that may be Wi-Fi right there I don't know I have to pull out the computer and see but here we are A whole lot of work for just one night <laughs> what you gonna do I'd rather pack up and move than risk frying the electrics on the on the Vesta last thing I want is to fry my coach so I'm a, I don't care if it's was somebody in that she said there was somebody in that site last night so there shouldn't be anything wrong with it. Well, I don't know. There's something wrong with it now. It may not have been when they were there, but it is now. All right, more to come. Hanging out here, Mott Park, Bardwell Lake, Lake Bardwell. Wind is still crazy, and it's extremely cool for this time of year. I'm ready for hot summer weather, but not today. So anyway, a couple videos back, I had someone ask me to share my feelings, what I like about the Vesta, what a what modifications there were what modifications we had made um so that's the vesta i love it oh, it's best decision we've we've made just hands down best rv decision we've made um it's just much easier to maneuver and to navigate and to i don't have to have a, a landing strip for 60 plus feet of rv and since it's mostly just the two of us we're not doing the full-time thing yet and even then i think that we could we could be full-time in this it's it's comfortable uh we went with the we chose this model because it didn't really need a lot of modifications or uh, my word adjustments so one of those adjustments that i made and planned on planned on making the, the day or even before we we purchased the vesta and that was to deconstruct the outside kitchen and mount the washer and dryer unit that I was carrying in the back of the truck mount them in here now the kitchen that was here had a microwave a little refrigerator and a tiny sink that used a sump pump to lift it up to the gray tank uh, with the exception of the sink I didn't anticipate using especially not the microwave uh, and the refrigerator, I didn't use the outside refrigerator on the last RV. 
but when we're on a week or two week three week long trip these come in handy hands down way better for us may not be way better for you it is for me uh, we still have the cabinet here it's my toolbox here miscellaneous tools in there i carry my cleaning stuff just a little bit of extra stuff in there so since I, it didn't have like a two burner stove um, and it certainly didn't have a grill so i guess you could consider this to be an adjustment the folding camp chef table it's got adjustable legs so I can raise it up to a working height for me. I'm six foot two. And then a bro the Broil King propane grill that fits in here. I also have a two burner gas stove for cooking the bacon and eggs, baby. And there's a power outlet in here so I can charge my scooter and power up anything else. And of course, you know, I've got the refrigerator TV that occasionally I'll turn on. Gas grill is tied into the onboard propane tank. So I just plug it in and go. So modifications, what modification? No modifications, adjustments. Now I've just installed the air tabs to help with the wind. Because, you know, a big old RV catches the wind, especially on days like today when you've got a 20 mile an hour wind gusting up to 40. You really notice the wind. Okay, and I've installed the RV bug stop. So that closes there. It needs to be sanded down a little bit more. And I've also installed screen, or not screen, but metal over the screen so the dogs can't get through there and I put in the bar that's a must-have you don't have one of those on your RV door get one worth it uh, of course we took out the jackknife sofa and I found the recliner sofa on Amazon um, so we can now sit in here and relax in comfort and watch TV we found some bins work great for miscellaneous stuff. I've got some of my camera gear. We carry dry foods in here. Uh, we're, it's only two of us. So this is storage area. My camera box goes here. I've installed cellular booster. That's what that is. So there's an antenna on top and a booster back under the master bed power. I've got it tied in, tied into the inverter power. So it works whether we're boondocking or not. Oh, by the way, there is no by the way. I did find out the other day that the dealership we purchased from gave me misinformation on tire pressure. I've been running 60 PSI because that was what they said it was required. And I was checking tires the other day and I noticed an 80. I, huh, I look a little closer and it said 80 PSI. And that has helped handling tremendously. It was really mushy, but it's not quite as mushy now. Got the hitch haul for the, the scooter. My dad cut that out. I painted it, made it look good. That's really it. Of course, I bought the, the cover for the window. The little curtain that came with it. Uh, it wasn't exactly private. So that's pretty well all the adjustments that we've made on the Vesta. We love it. We got a big trip coming up in June, July. You're gonna like that one too. Lots of fun things going on in this summer. So stay with me. I try to be entertaining. At least I try not to be boring. About Mott Park, I did learn something new now, there's not a whole lot going on if you're not swimming boating or fishing at mott park there's not a whole lot going on there's not a playground there's i didn't I haven't seen any hiking trails but there is that that is wi-fi so uh, with my access pass recreation.gov cost 
$14, $12 a night for me to be here. And it's free Wi-Fi. How cool is that? I'm gonna put my feet up. Oh, hey. How y'all doing this morning? Hanging out here at Marble Lake. Mott Park, Marble Lake. Sun's just now starting to come up. Oh, what? Whip up some bacon and eggs, but it's cold, man. I cannot believe how cold it is for this this time of year. But hey, I just wanted to give a shout out to the Boy Scout Troop number 204 out of Waxahachie, Texas. I just wanted to give a shout out to the Boy Scouts of Troop 204 out of Waxahachie, Texas. It was fun running into you guys last night out here at Mott Park on Bartwell Lake. Hope y'all stayed warm in those tents. Anyway, we're going to wrap it up and get on the road.